so the sell pressure on the Nigerian equities uh, was the deepest for the current week, of course, with just, just one day, 1.71% on the all share index. That uh, brought the market all share index to the doorsteps of 10% negative reading since the year started and a little around 4% since the month of August. So let's get a bit of a uh, where we are for the current week and what's the playbook for next week. And maybe we have a sense of how we're going to finish off the quarter. Uh, let's uh, get Ifeda uh, Yolo Koroku, who is the equity uh, strategist at uh, Vetiva Capital, to give us our playbook. It's nice to see you, uh, Ifeda Yo, live from our studios at the Nigerian Stock yeah. Exchange. You are the home of stocks. So let's talk, let's talk stocks from there. Um, What's your reading of what actually happened on Monday? So Monday was a continuation of the bearish sentiments that we have seen on the exchange um, for a while. The, on Monday, we saw the OSHA index was 1.7%, like you said, but much deeper losses across the major sectors, industrial goods, consumer goods, banking, all the major large caps there lost significantly. You saw Zenith Bank, one of the major losers in the banking sector, hitting its year low. Um, you also saw that for Nigerian breweries, touching a year low of about 100 naira. So you see that bearish sentiment deepened and strengthened um, on the exchange on Monday, and it's just in line with what we have been seeing since um, February, I would say. Yeah, so if you look at the capital importation report that shows that even the portfolio investment that comes in uh, it still went down, if, if, although marginally, as it were, in, in second quarter. Is that part of the story we're looking at here? Um, not necessarily. When you look closely at the foreign portfolio investment numbers, you see that the decline was actually driven about by um, money market investments. There was a decline in um, inflows for money market investments. Meanwhile, um, contrarily, you saw that equity market, you saw about a 49% um, jump in inflows to equities, which is a bit contrary to um, the direction we're seeing for the NSE. If you look at trading activity so far this year, it has continued to decline quarter by quarter. As as Q1, daily trading activity, you know, on average was about 6.9 billion naira. Um, but for, as at Q3 so far, you see that that has dropped to near 3 billion naira. So you see that um, the activity has not necessarily shown the direction that you see the capital imports. But then when you look at the month-on-month -month figures, you see that there was a spike as at um, June, thereabouts, on the FPI on the FPI figures. So I wouldn't read too much to the jump we saw in the equity uh, market importation numbers. Uh, but there have been an outflow from this market uh, over the last two months, quite significant. Some folks are looking at about two billion US dollars. That's between July and August. Absolutely, there have been outflows as well on the um, equity market. So. How the figure has been reported is what we cannot necessarily be sure of. Be sure of. Um, but for the NSC uh, capital inflow or foreign portfolio participation reports that they report every month, you see that there has been um, increased foreign outflow on the stock exchange. And that is, I would like to highlight, is in line with what you have seen across a lot of frontier and emerging markets. When you look at the MSCI emerging markets or frontier market index, you see that it is closing into um, bearish territory and is near a bear market almost losing 20% so far from its, from its high this year. For the Nigerian market, we have lost 23% from our previous peak in January and we are already in a bear market. Yes, we are in a bear market. Uh, uh, the U.S. looks like the one who is having a party as far as the equity is concerned right now, isn't it? Absolutely. There is more of a bull run, and you, analysts are saying that it's the longest bull run that they have seen in recent times. So you see that there's a divergence between where the developed and um, developing markets are currently trading as per the, the exchange. Yes, make America great again. So how do we make Nigeria great again from the equity side? Uh, is it the, the technicals or the fundamentals? What's your view? Well, fundamentally, Nigeria is doing well, and you would have expected that uh, 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 investors would price this into how they trade. However, you have a bigger, you know, 
space your focus in, in the sight of investors, and that is political, the political activities in Nigeria currently. We are going to elections in 2019, and investors have thoroughly been focusing on that. You tend to see this risk of sentiment when we are getting closer to elections. But this year, we saw that the, the risk of sentiment began very early in the year. From February, we saw the market begin to retrace, and we could trace that directly to the fact that investors are concerned and um, you know they are more cautious really we go, coming into this year we had expected and forecasted that for the political scene or the election would be more stable compared to what we saw as at the 2015 time. Um, but more recently, you've seen that the, the activities and the news from the political space has, has been increasingly um, adverse for um, Nigeria. And you know, there's more concern, definitely. What's your market call for this week uh, from in, at the TIVA? So this week, we expect that the bearish sentiment will persist. Because of the sizable losses we recorded on Monday, you could see losses soften um, on the exchange today. But fundamentally, if you look at how uh, the underlying sentiment that has been driving the market remains bearish, there's no significant positive catalyst that we have seen, nor do we expect any new um, news that would drive a more positive trading on the exchange. We, a lot of people tend to say, won't we see bargain hunting? There has still been bargain hunting. However, the more bearish sentiment has been prevalent on the exchange and that's what we expect to continue even for the rest of August. Um, currently, the, for so far this month, the All-Share Index has lost about 6%. So August is nearly the second worst month for the All-Share Index so far, um, slightly behind May where we saw the All-Share Index lose about 7.7%. Uh, if I'm bagging, if I'm doing bagging hunting, uh, if I know, what should be my key focus and how should I weigh my strategy? Should I focus more on technicals or on the fundamentals of sectors and assets within sectors? You should definitely um, concentrate on the fundamentals. You should look at the, a lot of large caps, like I said, have hit their um, year lows. And these large caps, you see that fundamentally are still strong. They are trading way below um, what consensus market target price is um, for these stocks. Um, on the exchange. So you should look at fundamentals. You should look at technically where do you, these stocks that are now at yellows, do you see um, value in them right now? So you should do both.